what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm empress gem i dropped the jewels this is the mercury retrograde read for our libra sun moon rising and venus and mercury i'm gonna give the disclaimer now i am a gemini if you didn't know so i'm doing this before the pre-shade of retrograde and my pronunciation and enunciation has been jacked up so do bear with me as i might stumble across my words throughout the reading libra you should definitely feel me as an air sign okay so guys your general message though take what's for you leave the rest behind like i said it's for libra summer rising venus and your mercury okay thank you guys for your likes comments shares and subscribes okay so actually before i get going all your underlying energy okay so you might be seeing twos a lot two 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 okay let me tell you let me tell y'all when y'all got a blessing Y'all got a blessing in front of y'all or a blessing coming during retrograde? Look here. Y'all know it. Take it for what it is. Accept it. Okay? Trust me. This thing, I feel like you guys are desiring peace. You want balance in your life. This is what this blessing, this is what this is bringing. Okay? Mercury retrograde is, I feel like it's about to offer y'all like some, some beautiful shit. Yes, with the building blocks and the higher power. Somebody about to come in and help you get up out of whatever situation you're in. Okay, you might feel like this person is wearing a false mask or not true or it's too good to be true. Look here. Hmm. Pull your shit together, okay? This is fair. Pull your shit together, okay? Don't let anyone stray you from this person. Go the distance, okay? Whatever this energy is that's coming towards you, it's for you, okay? Could be talking to a masculine, could be a masculine energy, or you need to be motivated and driven, okay? Ambitious, keep going towards, I'm hearing ambition. Okay? You're being candid this. Like, straight the hell up. The <laughs> Spirit, we thank you as we open up. What's the message here for our Libras? But y'all y'all rocking. Like, honestly, I want to kind of just title this best reading for retrograde, which is crazy as hell. You guys need to start cleaning up. Um, I'm, I'm hearing moving. Some of you guys might be getting ready to move, so you got to clean up your space, whatever. But um, you cleaning around you, you cleaning out your space, you cleaning out your energy, okay? This is what's taking place, Mercury Retrograde. It's time to release, completely release, because you got blessings on blessings on blessings coming in, okay? Yes, go the distance, came back around, okay? This cleanup is a 21, breaking down to a 3, all right? And this go the distance is a 47, breaking down to 11. We're going to leave it right there at that divine number, okay? You got a connection, you got a bond, you got an energy, you got something and someone coming in. To help you team up with this person, this energy, this job, whatever it is, go with it, okay? You got the energy, bring that yang, okay? Go the distance, all right? And if you want to break that 11 down to a 2, like I said, you could be seeing the 2s. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, baby, okay? Yeah, but this is looking good. I see you guys just clearing up. Clearing up, cleaning house, because you know you got good stuff coming in. I don't really see y'all really being too bothered, too tough. Hell no. Look at that. Look at you, Libra. Look at you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. When I mean I was so excited when I was, like, getting in y'all energy. Look at this. Onto something new. Y'all don't. Look. Stop it. Spirit. Let's get this read for our Libras. This It feels good as hell. Like. This feels good. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Like I want to be a Libra. I wish uh, I wanted one of my majors like that. Like you have no idea. This feels so good right now. Ooh, yeah. Seeing you know about somebody who's trying to come back around and <clears throat> mess up your options or make you juggle or make you decide. You know about that jealous person, okay? You know about them. You know all about them. You're not worried about them at all. You're ready for them when they come in. Because trust me, somebody going to try to come in because they're upset. They are upset about what you've manifested in your life. Are we for real? Come on. These are blessings. Look, do not be knocking Libra's blessings. If you're a cross watcher up here, do not be knocking Libra's blessings right now. Do not. They are deserving. Don't knock somebody else's blessings. No, we do not do that. Oh, no. So, yeah, we're going to get it going. This feels good. I feel like y'all just like, man, I know I'm the shit. Hey, look at this. Look at this. All your dreams coming true. All your wishes. This is the star energy here in this deck, okay? Look at you. You don't water your garden. You know there's snakes around here. 
okay? I don't know if you've ever heard me say it before, but I seen a video where like they put the water holes like in the holes and it made the rats and stuff pop up or whatever so that the little ferret or whatever could go on, the little mink and go and get it and the dog or whatever, they was catching the rats, feel me? But you, they watered the garden and it made them come out, feel me? Like, so yeah, like you watered, you know who the snakes are, who lingering around, but all your dreams is coming true. You done took care of yourself, <laughs> healed yourself. The sun is coming out, the clouds is breaking. Look at that, the sun is shining, the sky is blue. You don't took care of yourself. You don't heal. You 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 went the distance, and you're you're gonna keep going the distance. Okay, you're deciding to go the distance. Okay, and spirit is pushing you to keep going. All right, you still got lingering stuff that's gonna come back. Of course, it's Mercury retrograde, but I feel like you're gonna dead that stuff off because you see where you're going, and it feels good. Like it feels good. Like you know that you're winning. You're the shit. Look at you, so in control. Like I said, you know about all the snakes around you. You have all the wisdom with this hierophant energy could be dealing with a Taurus. Y'all motherfuckers is lucky child, I'm telling you. Whoa, okay? Y'all already know right from wrong. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know who y'all are, okay? A lot of you guys could be seeking to commit to something new, okay? But you're seeking realness here. You're following your faith. Stepping out on faith, becoming more open, get you on your path. You're there. <laughs> You're doing the work. This is, is this shit. It feels good, yo. It feels so good. It feels so good. Like it ugh. work. Mm, some shit going down with work though. Scorpio energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cause I got some haters. You got some people who trying to um mess you up, bruh, sis. Lots of big shakeups. Hell, could even just be like, you could be running out of dodge. I feel like when it strikes, though, I feel like you. I want to feel like you're the horse and you're like getting out of danger already. Like you're already out of danger. But I feel like some some big shit is taking place around at your job. Of course, we gonna look at it, guys. Come on, you know I ain't gonna leave you hanging. <laughs> it's some big shit, but. <laughs> Somebody about to come in and say some shit or try to shake some shit up at work, okay? I'm going to get another one, but it, just how that just instantly fell. Like, this, this is big. Whatever the hell's going on at work is big. You could be quitting a job. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, careful if you had a power plant. Oh, this is so deep. Wow. You work at, like, a power plant somewhere where there's, like, high explosives. Be very careful and cautious because I'm seeing a fire or an explosion happen, okay? Um... Yeah, because there is a fatality there. I'm also seeing here with this tower energy, I feel like a supervisor or a boss, if you hold that position or one around you, their crown could be coming off. I feel like some things are coming up because at the end, despite what that half-ass shuffle, is, you're still the shit underneath the deck. Give me one more here. What's going on with these Libras at work? Mercury retrograde. This double tower business. This judgment, whatever's about to happen is fair. Oh, yes. You got the strength to endure this. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine for you because something else better is going to come. Okay? Or... Yeah, something else... Either something better is going to come if you're... If you end up losing your job, especially with this judgment here, if you end up, like, quitting or losing your job, like, to some bull or whatever, like, it, it is what it is. Something better will come. I also feel that here that um you really have to have the strength here that, because I'm also picking up for some of you guys that this is going on with somebody else. There's a, a heavy Scorpio energy, okay, um, with the judgment out there now. Heavy-ass Scorpio energy, okay. And they brought a little bit of you. But then you got that Aries, then that Leo, and that Sagittarius. I got Leo looking at me right here with the strength card as the next card after the judgment. And Virgo with the hermit. Yeah, you need to not get caught up in this shit. <laughs> yes. You know right from wrong. This is you all Mercury retrograde. You are enlightened. You got, you got the key. Like I feel like people need to come to you for advice because you are on point as far as you know, seeing a, seeing a dangerous situation type of thing. Like, knowing the snakes. You know the snake situations, okay? You really need to have the strength here to not get involved in whatever is going on at work, okay? 
because it's going to lead to some sort of conflict, like serious, like physical obstacle or some sort of argument or a fight. So whatever the hell is being is going down at work, let it happen. OK, it ain't got nothing to do with you. It, might, it don't. I mean, it, if they ask you a question and you know that you, you got truthful answer or whatever and you know that it is. Look. So did you see her leave at three o'clock? Well, yeah, I seen her leave at three o'clock. Because if everybody else is like, I seen her leave at 3 o'clock, don't get up there and say you didn't see them leave at 3 o'clock. Okay? Be honest. You saw them. It is what it is. And then just deal away with that. Okay? Um, I feel like for some of you guys, it's going to be a matter of, you know, you don't want to feel like you're throwing somebody under the bus or whatever. But that's on them. Like, do you want to get caught up in their business? That's on them. That is on them, okay? But again, also some of you guys could just be walking out of a job and quitting, and that's what that job deserves because you know you deserve better, and you're ghosting them. You're tired of fighting them and feeling that lack, so you're just like, you know what, whatever. I want better for myself, and you're going to leave because you're tired of dealing with all the conflicts of a job. Boom. And your love life. Ooh, Jesus, look at you, Libra. You also could be finding your divine counterpart or dealing with your divine counterpart during this time, Okay. Um, some of you guys could be getting pregnant. Gotta say it, it's the Empress. Be careful. Wrap it up, okay? Starting a family, okay? Um, I do feel where you guys are um, being nurtured, okay? Or you're nurturing someone, vice versa. Um, being treated how... Libra is realizing what they deserve and how they should be treated. They are stepping into their empress energy. Okay. You just like, look, if you ain't coming like pa, you ain't for ma. Yup. And I feel like you got somebody jacked up and uh, somebody is like, oh my gosh, like, what am I, what am I going to do? Like, how could you say this to me, Libra? Like, how could you say this? Could be dealing with a Pisces here. Or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person is like all up in their head now. It's like, how could you say this? I feel like you, you could be like blocking somebody off mentally or like not talking to somebody because you're pulling your shit together. Like you're working on you. you you're you like just, you're cutting stuff off. Um, like you don't have time right now. Some of you, again, could be pregnant and stressed out about it. You could have got pregnant by somebody, got caught up. Possibly by a Pisces or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or a Taurus. You got caught up or you could have got somebody pregnant and it's just like, damn, what the hell? Like, what am I going to do? I mean, I feel like deep down inside you could be happy, but you just like, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what the hell did I do? Um, ooh. I see somebody might have to choose between lovers and they know that they have to end something because of what they chose to do because of giving love or a, preg a pregnancy or something. Be careful, Libras. I mean, it's still good. I mean, if you want to be pregnant, if you're trying to get pregnant, yes, it's there. Somebody might be a little stressed out, okay? Um, or you might just, you know, try to figure out how you're going to get through, especially if this correlates. Like if you're somebody who ends up pregnant and say you just quit a job and then boom, you find out you're pregnant. It's like, damn, I would have stayed at that piece of crap job and <laughs> did what I had to do and saved up a little bit more money. Like I didn't plan this. Like this wasn't part of the plan. But look, you got this. You have not been failing. You got this. You got this. You're a hidden enemy. Could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces or a Scorpio. Okay. But this is somebody who wants to have a renewal with you or somebody that you could have sacrificed already who you already released because you realize that they just weren't a part of your journey. They weren't meant to come with you anymore. Okay. Let's see. Kind of want to see this. I don't think I've been clarifying the enemies too tough, but this one is. Yeah, you don't want to start anything new with this person. Okay, so this is, could be somebody that you were committed to because we got the Empress here again, all right? So recircling back to your love life here during Mercury Retrograde, this is somebody who you don't want a new beginning with with this fool out in reverse, okay? Could be an Aries energy here. Um, sorry if there's a cut. But um, yeah, because I'm looking at the Empress again. 
in the deck. Well, I would try to twist it better, but whatever. I got the Empress here. I got the High Priestess here. And I got Scorpio energy here with the death. So I feel like, well, whoever this hint of enemy is, I feel like there's somebody. it could have been somebody you were committed to, especially with marriage here, because this is the marriage card in the center of your read, okay? It could have been somebody that you were married to or whatever. Like, things probably could have got a little stagnant and paused, and you're just, like, caught up, and you're not you're not really understanding or knowing what it is that you need to do about the situation. But I feel like you kind of reached a point here where you know that it's over, okay? Or this could be, you know, your partner or whatever. They know that it's over, okay? Ma and Pa, and then you got the marriage card. The, they know it's over, especially with this empress. Like, whoever this is, it is this empress. It's somebody who you kind of left hanging, who could be stressing out over you, not knowing what's going on, or somebody who caused you a great amount of stress and left you hanging, okay? I feel that you don't want a new opportunity. You don't want a new chance with whoever this is that could be your spouse. You could just be like, you know what, I'm done with you irreconcilable differences, whatever. But you don't want a new beginning with this person because essentially you know that it's over and you know something better is coming into you. I feel like you have possibly been, yeah, you have, okay. You've been investing into new connections here and I feel like you're gonna receive some news from somebody who is near and dear to your heart. Um, but I feel like you're just feeling a little worry and caution and burning because of what you still got hidden in the closet, the, the devil that you know, okay. It's still a good reading because I feel in the end, you don't want to mess with this person anymore, okay? Because it's over. That's why you don't want a new beginning with them. It's over and you know you have something better coming in with the three of wands, okay? So for your obstacle is allowing this will to change, allowing these changes to take place in your life, okay? You got to go the distance. You know right from wrong, accepting, yeah, cleaning up shop. You're still lingering and holding on to shit that you know you don't need to hold on to with the Hierophant, Libra. Because aside from that, this is beautiful. You have blessings on blessings on blessings coming in. Somebody who's going to bring you peace, uh, employment or work, a job, career that's going to bring you fulfillment and excitement. Like, I feel like things are shaking up and happening in your job so that things can work out for you, okay? Like... You got to allow this change, this flow to take place. I'm not going to clarify that for you. Hell no. And I hear y'all, but no. You're afraid of change. Why? Why? Your wishes are being fulfilled. This is everything that you want. And I know they say the grass don't be greener on the other side. Look here. What the universe trying to show you? You're playing a cruel trick on yourself because your obstacle here is allowing things to change, to have luck on your side. Why are you doubting this? Why do you doubt that you don't need this? You're the shit. Accept these blessings that are trying to roll into your life. Mercury retrograde is going to show you. It's going to show you. This is a cruel trick on your ass, too. You could have got Virgo in your chart. You guys, you, you see what's up. You see what's up. Go watch that Virgo reading because they had that in the same position. Except for you guys, y'all like self-sabotaging because y'all being blessed. But y'all rather stay with the devil you know. And you've been getting the signs. I feel like you've been getting the signs. You you know it's time for a change. Two, two, two. You know it's time for a change. It's time to make a decision. It's time to do it. But you won't let the will change. The universe is going to show you that you're playing yourself, playing yourself. Nine of Swords. Still sitting here stressed out, hung up over a dead-end relationship. Not allowing the ruckus to happen at your job like it needs to so it can be smooth for you. So that you can have the strength to do what you need to do. Stay out of the mix. Choose to not get caught up in every situation. And just focus on the job that you got to do and make it smooth for you. Okay, what you need to release, Libra? That fog, the spirit of tradition, okay? This is the matrix. This is officially my matrix card. Get out the matrix, bruh. Sis, it's how I talk. I call you, I'm going to call you bruh if you're a girl. Don't matter. It's non-binary. <laughs> but get out the matrix, feel me? Like, get out the matrix, Okay? Y'all little last ones, boy. Acceptance. Have the courage. Go the distance, Libra. Okay? 
This is your happiness. You want this. You wanted this. Allow the wills to change. You've done the work. Stop stressing. It's over. Scorpio energy, death. It's over. It's over. You're free. Be free. Be free. You already know what you don't want and what you want. Be free. Judgments. Judgment. Be oh. Yes, yeah, spirit, spirit, speak it, speak it out, speak it out. What's the lesson here for our Libras? We thank you. What's the lesson for our Libras? Because I'm telling you, child, mm, so you got to be disciplined, yo. Like, I feel like you got, you, you know your purpose. You know your purpose. You know your purpose. Look, look here. I feel like it's your love life that's really messing you up, Libra, Okay. Okay. It's your love life got you caught up on everything, everything. That's the hidden enemy. Your spouse, the person that you trust. You've, you've manifested all of this stuff into your life, okay? You've created the life that you wanted. You've envisioned it. Hell, you even started embarking on it, but you're getting yourself caught up. Sacrifice. What no longer serves you, let it go, okay? I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Self-esteem, okay? I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Some of you guys don't feel like you are deserving of what's coming towards you. You are. These are your blessings. And you got somebody who got you all messed up, trying to mess up your work, career, possibly. I feel like this love energy, this energy here, this hidden enemy is the same person in your love life who is messing with your ability to have good luck and fortune. Get a shit. You are the shit. And ancient shit is cool. Okay? I feel like I'm talking to somebody who might practice like um, Buddhism or something like that. One of the old religions. I mean like real old, ancient, like for real. And you are love. Okay? Get some rest, Libra. Okay? Just make better fucking choices, okay? You you messed up. Okay, so that wasn't the one. That's why there's things called divorces or just breaking up or moving on, moving out. And that's why there's plenty of fish in the sea, literally and figuratively, okay? Shit is going down at your job. You need to ask the expert. Put your fucking phone down, okay? Literally, put your phone down. Do not answer to any... Look, repeat after me. I'm sorry, I cannot take on your stress. Somebody calls you up and starts to yell, I got some drama bullshit. Fake like it's somebody in your background so you can hang up because you don't got to take that on. If you can't just hang up and tell them no, fake it and hang up, damn it, okay? Like, don't take on nobody's stress, okay? You don't got to respond back to any cruel-ass text messages or somebody trying to belittle you through words. Look at that. self esteem Adversity was underneath that and envy. And blame somebody. Go, look, drama because you moving on and you your life is progressing and you're doing what you want to do. You don't want to start new with folks. Uh uh. OK, put the phone down. Don't res don't respond to these people. OK, too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Because the whoever's coming through the phone is bringing you down. Whoever's trying to communicate with you, call you, text you, whatever. They're bringing you down. Uh-uh. Mercury retrograde, we're not doing that. If they can't, we doing this face-to-face. -face. Come talk to me. Because you get body language and everything, and then you dead out of situation. But all that, no. Whoever's calling you or texting you, especially, mm -mm, no. Make better fucking choices, Libra, for real. Because shit could be so much worse. And it's not. It's not. Continue to sac let that enemy go. It's this enemy. It's a head and I just... It's, it's all in that same energy. They interfere with everything. Okay? So, yeah, guys, this has been your reading. I know y'all know what to do with this. You are officially going to be the longest one. I ain't going no more than 25 minutes for anybody else. But this was deep because y'all reading what felt good. This is good. Y'all being blessed. But mm -mm, I don't like whoever your ex or whoever that is in your love life. I don't. They don't want to see you grow. They want to keep you down. Hell no. Go the distance. Get away. Get away. If you want to book a personal, I'm here for it. All that information is listed below. Till the next time we speak, Libra. Peace.